Man, I'm so excited to got, I got you in the building, man. Thank you for being here. My man Dre has touched down. So, Dre, for those who don't know don't know who you are, man, introduce yourself. My name is uh, Dre Hunter. I'm from uh, Miami, Florida. I moved to Atlanta when I was about 13 years old. Uh, yeah, my mom, my stepdad, my brother, and my sister, we packed up from Florida. My yeah. mom, just she said something told her to come to Atlanta. Wow. Randomly, but how did you end up as an A and R at the label with Ace? It's uh, so I wrote "Blessed Up." The uh, oh yeah, I co-wrote "Blessed Up" with One Day. Yeah, um, and how that came about was um, one day I was Ubering, I was down. Yeah, bro, I was mm-hmm. down, man, and I'm Ubering, and I had twenty dollars left, and I was like, I'm gonna take ten dollars and buy this chicken. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take this other ten, I'm put in the gas, and then, then I'm gonna make my money back from Ubering. Yeah, and um. Ace hit me and was like, yo, we have this new artist one day. Uh, we need a record mentor is about to come up. Uh, I was wondering if you could, you know, uh, you know, write something for it, you know what I mean? And um, I'm like, ah, dang, if I go home, I'm going to waste my gas. Yep. I already bought the chicken. Yeah. So it's like, hey, man, what should I do? So I sat there for a minute and, and once again... It's like, God always, like, the way he acts in my life, it's like, yo, I got you. Just trust me. Yeah. So he's like, go home. So I was like, man, dang. So I go home. Word. I go home. I run out of gas. <laughs> like, I'm I'm halfway on E now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm at the house. I write two ideas. And um, I write two ideas and send them to Ace and nothing. So it's like 3 o'clock at this time. Dang. So I'm defeated. So I lay on the bed from three to like two to three in the morning. Yeah. Like I'm literally just laying on the bed, my feet hanging off the bed, and I'm just sitting there to like two in the morning. And then what came to me is I had I had a session with one day prior, and I remember everything she was telling me she loved. She was like, she loves melodic. She loved yeah. this, she loved that. And then um I was like, yo, let me try one more thing. And I said, let me just tell how I feel right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I started the uh, beginning of the idea. And um, I said, okay, this might be enough for, for her to take it. One yeah. day she's an amazing writer. So yeah, like, she is. She could do enough with the idea. So yeah. I'm like, let me send it over. Send over the idea. Ace like, bro, you got it. <laughs> this, is it. this is it. Crazy. Yeah. Bro. So, and that, that was what's crazy is like for me, that was my first like major placement. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was like significant for me. No, that's dope, yeah. bro. Yeah. I'm, bro, thank you for sharing that. And I can't, I just don't want to fly by that, bro. I'm like, you was, you had a, you, you had chicken. I had chicken. And your tank on E. Tank on E. And you like laid up stress contemplating what am I going to do? Mm-hmm. But you follow what God said Absolutely. do. And it's Absolutely. like, all right, I'm here now. That don't look like it's going to work. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. What was going through your head before you had the idea and you just laying on the bed looking up? Man, I just I just wasted that gas. Dang. I don't know how I'm going like, to make that's, it tomorrow. Yeah, no, that's good. That's how, that's how I be feeling. Yeah, I don't like, know how I'm uh, going to make it tomorrow. I'm hearing so. you tell it. I'm like, yo, how are you supposed to get back to go out and do more work? <laughs> that's exactly you just spent like, all the gas, I just dog. spent the money, so... Man. I'm like, I don't know how I was gonna make it. What's crazy is like my sister ended up coming to my rescue the next day. Yeah. And like helping me out with that. But uh Man, folks don't know. If they ain't never been there, bro, they don't know. They don't like you can't appreciate it. It's yeah. like I can appreciate, like, yo, yeah. I mean, I just spent my last. What I'm about man, to do now. What am I gonna do now? Yo, man, that's do. crazy. And when, and when you when you when you serve the Lord and you walk with the Lord, man, he like, I got you. What yes. you worried about? And that's that's one thing that I learned over time. And my walking and my journey to, yeah. the, to this destination is like God always, like he had my back the whole time. Always, always. It's like, bro, what are you worried about? It's to the point where now I don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stop worrying. Yeah. I'm like, yo, you got me you through got that. Me. You got me through my worst. Come on, bro. Like, what am I worried about Come on, at this bro. point? You know what I mean? Come on, bro. So, Ooh. yeah, man. So so you got the placement with one day. I got the placement one day. What other placements? Uh, so yeah, because so, it sounds like you've been moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, like that, that kind of sparked me. Um, after the one day thing, I ended up working with this artist named Ruby Rose. Yeah, we ended up doing um, the he and his uh, called, record called He and His Feelings. With yeah, her, uh, the intro to her project. Shut up. Another song called Back in the Booth for her. So three songs off her project. 
After that, I started working with a guy named Trey Tracks, mm -hmm. and he was working heavy with an uh, artist named Saucy Santana. I did a record called Walk with <sighs> Santana. It's um, fire, too. Yeah, thank you. Good Lord. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. You've been out here moving, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. Um, yeah, I, I was... God, it's, it's, it's God, bro. Yeah. Because the, the places and the people that's recognizing me and allowing me the opportunities, it's like, I know it's not me. You know what I mean? I know it's not me. Yeah, and bro. It's times where I've been in the booth exhausted. And, and that's another thing, too, is you got to learn how to fight through. Yeah. Like, fight through those times because... Your blessing is on the other side. It's times where I've been in the booth exhausted. And this this is where God was training me up for for that uh what is, what is it called? Um I can't even get the word right now, but he was training me for like the marathon. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. He was training me for the marathon. <clears throat> what it what it was, it was times where I used to be sleepy. I'm talking about half sleep in the booth, and I'm telling the engineer, could you, hey, just run run the track from the top to the bottom real quick so I can get, get three a, minutes. Yeah, get a nap. <laughs> get a nap. Because <laughs> I refused to leave the booth until the song was done. Yo, bro. <laughs> so I was like, yo, play, just play it for me like three times for me. I already know that's oh, like nine my minutes. Oh, goodness, bro. So, okay, I got a good nine minutes to take this nap. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> Meanwhile, the engineer out there sleep too. Right, he all of us sleep. All right, he sleep. like, thank you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious, yeah, man. So, so, so you got you you got the placements. You've mm -hmm. been moving. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm just excited. One, people get introduced to you. People get to see what you've done. Yeah. But then you get a you get the opportunity, and Ace pulls you in to reach. Right, right. So, yes, so. I wanted to tell all that just to like kind of set it up in yeah. the sense of, and I'm still struggling. Word. I'm still struggling financially. I'm still trying to figure so we, out. So we, I need to get the goons on Ace. That's what you're saying. Nah, it, it was like- Oh, you said before Ace got before you. Before Ace Oh, came. I thought you meant now. I was like, bro. <laughs> I was like, oh, we got to get the goons out. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> like before that, it, it, was, it was, no, 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 no. <laughs> Said, oh, uh, yeah, I wanted to tell all that to say to I got you. No, <laughs> there's some things going on. No, 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 absolutely not. And, and <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you know, I was um, everything had wrapped up, yeah, the walk record came out, the Ruby stuff came out, everything happened, and I remember like saying, God, like, what now? Mm. Like, okay, I'm getting placements. Do I just keep doing that? Like, yeah. this doesn't feel like complete. Right. This doesn't feel it. And I was, I remember sitting on the side of the bed, literally thinking, what now? And my phone goes off. Yeah. And Ace is like, hey, we have an A&R position open. Do you want to take it? Wow. I'm like, Shut up. God, I literally just asked you what now? <laughs> literally just asked. Literally, literally just asked and boom, it hit my phone. I'm like... Okay, thank you. And I'm like, absolutely. Bruh, somebody got to be moved right now. Like, they yeah. they out there waiting for their chance, and they and you over here, like, just following the Lord. Just, just following the following Lord. following you. What are you, Bruh, where are so you taking inspiring. me to? That's so inspiring, man. Yeah. So, Ann Arden, mm -hmm. I know you co-led it, because you the brother that brought the OBJ record. Thank you. You brought yeah. that mug in, and yes, I'm sir. like, yo, I don't know, yeah. man. I don't know. Can I do yeah. this? But I... I'm the moment I heard it, I was yeah. like, we got to do this now. Absolutely. Listen, you played it for me, and I was like, this is phenomenal. Uh, so we did OBJ, uh -huh. but also we we did Mirror Talk. Absolutely. Give me your thoughts on that, man. Oh, Mirror Hey, uh, listen. You, you, you. <laughs> nah, man. Uh, when I heard you, I heard you. Uh, you, you, listen, you, listen, you, listen. You. listen. <laughs> I'm the new guy. I don't Yo, no hey, I feel that. I feel you know that. I, mean? I feel nah, that. Nah, but nah, I, I think Mary talked of uh, how vulnerable you are on that record and like you kind of addressing issues that it, it is, I think it is going to put people in a kind of like, it's going to, uh, it's going to shock people. It has a lot of shock value, mm -hmm. but it's needed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's needed. And you the OG. It's like, hey, man. I want to say it. I want to say it. That's good. I, I definitely had a few conversations, but I want to have more because right. there's always two sides. Like one thing we talk about with Mirror Talk, uh, I was talking with my boy Reginald, like mm -hmm. when you look at yourself in a mirror, the mirror, the way it's made, <clears throat> excuse me, 
the mirror, the way it's made, it doesn't show you your actual image. Yeah. It gives you the reflection of yourself, like a corrected Absolutely. reflection. Yeah. To get the right image, they make what they call true mirrors, and those show you your legit... It A true mirror shows you what other people see when they look at you. Mm. When you look in the mirror, you're looking at what you look like to yourself, but a true mirror shows you what other people see. But what you realize is, oftentimes when we look in a mirror, we have a very... Um, we have a very strong over over positive perception of ourselves or a very strong, super negative image of ourselves. But the true image is what we want to get at. And I recognize in my journey, the way I've gotten to that true image was about being honest about where I was Absolutely. and about going to people and being like, what did y'all think? So Absolutely. that's why I asked you that question. I want to go to you, other people at the label, like, yo, mm -hmm. man, give me y'all's opinion of what uh, it is so I can get a better image of myself. Gotcha. Even so, like yeah. working on this music video for Mirror mm -hmm. Talk, it's like using the mirrors and trying to get people to see the true image of me mm -hmm. and me seeing that for mm -hmm. myself as well because I know like when you look in a mirror straight on you tend to look at what you see mm -hmm. instead of thinking what do other people see right, right. God put them here for me to walk alongside of right. and they reflect him too so how can they speak into what I'm showing right now Got you. you know what I'm saying so that's that's very helpful thank you mm -hmm. so was there a part of the song that stood out to you that was like oh my goodness this brother he went there. Um, just just the 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 comments about not getting the features back. Ah, there it is. I there feel like is. because it was just so blunt and it's like whoever you you know how like you like yo the shoe fits. <laughs> I ain't talking about you, but if you felt some type of way, then it was for you. It was for you. Bruh, I'm so glad that's you said one that. of those moments yes. where it's like. I may not even be talking about you, but you may have done it and mm -hmm. you felt it. Yes, you bro. Look, I, mean? at, I I read this I, I read this thing online that was talking about even going back to your earlier point mm -hmm. about uh, you were studying detachment. Uh huh. Law uh, of detachment. What is it? Law of detachment. Law of detachment. Yeah. That's it. And I'm sitting here realizing like I am. I am hanging and clinging onto these negative emotions and mm -hmm. feelings because of what somebody else's actions were mm -hmm. instead of being honest to say, all I can do is make the request. Absolutely. I can't control them and, and nor should I try. Mm -hmm. What I can do though in the midst of realizing this is be honest enough Absolutely. with myself Absolutely. to say, man, I'm, I feel insecure right now. Mm -hmm. Like what, what is the, what, what's the reason behind why this ain't happening like you exactly. said it would like what's exactly. the reason exactly. and in the industry it's easy to to come up with some sense of insecurity like mm -hmm. oh it's because of how i how i'm how i've been acting or, right, or right, man it's right, because of right, i ain't right. i ain't where so-and-so is Not or whatever whatever he, he's just busy he's just busy he's just and busy. that's the that's the thing that you have to get to is have being able to have the conversation to right, be like right. yo what did it what is it man right, right. what is it and so that's what the song i had to expose like mm -hmm. that's why i say in the second verse at the end like insecurity makes you question who's by you Absolutely. when you super insecure which which is an inverse of pride mm -hmm. when you're super insecure you center yourself in the moment and you never consider oh this is what this is what they feel this is what they're right. going through right. but when you can do that you get you get a, a better image of them so now for you sir mm -hmm. final question if you could hold a mirror up to yourself and mm -hmm. see see yourself and get real for a moment yeah. what's something that you would address that you know you got to get real with yourself about Hey man, get your health together, brother. Whoa. Stop playing. Whoa. Break, break that down. Break that down. Um, it's just, I think I've I've had I've had an issue with uh food mm -hmm. because like coming up, yeah, like when I was struggling, it was it was a lot of days I didn't eat. Yeah, man. So when I finally got to a place of where I'm comfortable, it's like I'm gonna eat every day. And I'm not watching what I eat. Oh yeah, say you that. You know what bro. I mean? Say I that. haven't been here before. I'm finna, I'm ordering <laughs> DoorDash and Uber Ooh. Eats. It's going to know me personally. And it, it's just... Uh... They going to know me personally. <laughs> hey, man, where you going? To Dre's hey, house? Right. right. <laughs> My guy. Yo. So, uh, yeah, man, it was just like now it's, it's kind of it's kind of getting to the place where I'm feeling it. 
I'm, I'm, God is sending me dreams and letting me know. Like it was one, and that, you know, I just want to share this. It was one dream where I felt like it was a guy in the dream, and he came to my face and said, "Hey man, drink water." Oh. <laughs> Drink water <laughs> for the whole week. Drink water, and I was like, "What?" So it was, it was just like it, it's <laughs> God sending folks in your dreams, bro. It got that bad, bro. It got that bad, bro. He's sending folks in your dreams. Drink water. Drink water. Yo, that's it's hilarious. not that hard, bro. <sighs> That's good, bro. That's good. <laughs> but bro. yeah, so yeah, my health, man. Like I, I really need to, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm hitting the big three zero. Yeah. So it's like, yo, let's get that together, man. It's a lot going on. I think there's purpose in where we're at right now, and I think you know, there's there's more, there's more. This is, yeah. I think, I, I I said this the other day. My twenties were my training ground. Mm-hmm. My thirties, I'm just starting life. That's good, bro. You know what I mean? That, that, yeah, that's real. That's yeah. more people should be honest about that. Yeah. Cause it in your twenties, you feel like you gotta have it all figured out. Right. Or you feel like you should be somewhere further. Right. And you end up not enjoying the lessons that you learn in that season. Mm-hmm. That's so real, bro. Yeah. Man, you brought up a great point. I hope more people hear it. I'm listening to it. That's like, bro, I I definitely relate to growing up without. Getting to a place of being able to have Mm -hmm. and letting yourself indulge in the fact that you can have it. It's not a matter of being right or wrong about being able to have it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I felt in the same way. I mean, it's it's across the board. Whether it's a person who couldn't grow up buying J's and now they buy J's all the time. It's a person who grew up and they couldn't afford to drive a certain car and now they got all the cars. Mm -hmm. It's like we all tend to do that. But the problem is when it's something dealing with your health, Absolutely. it's like, yo, I mean, I grew up, I mean, just you, what you said, bro, yeah. I, I'm, I look shocked because I was like, I just said this yeah. to my wife. Yeah. Like, that's why I do some of the stuff mm-hmm. I do. And when you add into it, life struggle, depression, anxiety, mm-hmm. so on and so on, it's like food is not no longer just like a badge of honor right. or a badge of leveling up. Food is like, yo, I won. I'm mm-hmm. winning. I'm yeah. comforted. I'm, I'm here. Yeah. So that's yeah. I'm so glad you shared that, yeah. bro. Man, well, thank you for being here. Nah, I you appreciate that. you, bro. No doubt. So-